All right. Hello, everybody. Um, this is a quick uh, instructional video to help you uh, right, be more efficient in using the mouse and keyboard method while playing DCUO. Um, I found that especially, uh, you know, it's, 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 as you can tell, it's very conservative. It keeps everything in one hand. You know, your, you have your initial hand pla finger placements right here. This is where you're normally at. You know, and you have your block, your jump, those things stay the same. Powers one, two, three, four as well. But uh, some of the little things that you can do to, you know, uh, basically keep you from lifting your hand, going out here and pressing these buttons and having to come back and reset is uh, you go into your settings and um, switch this around. I'm Probably most of you already have it to somewhere where you're comfortable at, but uh, just letting people know. So uh, you're going to have powers one, two, three, four. Uh, right across the top and then I'm gonna make E my power 5 and just this just depends on you you could either make you know the R button your power 6 or your control button which sometimes I, I probably prefer uh, 6 over here you know what I mean so it just depends on how you like it right so your seventh is going to be your solder, which I like it right here because you can keep moving around. You can jump and you just have to shift your shift your thumb over one and you can pop a solder real quick. Just make sure you don't hit this button because that happens. All right. Uh, of course, this is your fast movement action, which was your, your action button before, but I moved that over here. Simply because if you press um, simultaneously your left, uh, your right your mouse left click button and your right click button at the same time it's the same as your action button which we'll see on the next on the next page so where were we at alright we're at the solder number seven and then you have your block here and normally at number eight right here I either like to put like the tank breakout or the breakout for PvP or the buff if I'm playing the DPS this is where I put the trinket for the buff so I can get my might and my precision up now, um, target locks up here. I normally just cycle through Q, and then that'll you know that'll help you get to the target that you want. But if let's say, you know, you have uh, you have four targets, right? And you press Q, and it's you see that it's going one, two, three, four, but you really wanted three. Well, if you press Tab, you'll go back one, you know, and you'll go ahead and get that three, get that target. So you know, so you can scroll basically to the right and scroll to the left, depending on how you're looking at the screen. Then we have powers 9, 0, and uh, the little underscore ta um, symbol, which are basically uh, your trinkets, right? So th that go in your utility belt, like your supply drop, your orbital strike, your consumables, and whatnot. So in the way that they show up on screen, 9, 0, and, uh, you know, the underscore, that's how, that, that's how I do it visually when I'm playing the game, where you have the powers over here. So I know that, you know, the, the power on the far left will correspond to 9. The power in the middle will correspond to the one in the middle over here and, and so on. Basically, I like to put 0 as my orbital strike because um, of the X. It just, you know, it helps me remember. And uh, here in C, I like to go ahead and uh, I, I like to put my supply drop. It's just easy access over from D and it's close to like a soda. And if you go one down here to nine, this is uh, either a consumable or, you know, sidekick or backup. Just depends on how your, what your utility belt gives you at the moment. Then over here, I have the map. As you can tell, that's, that's standard. Uh, I use V for voice chat and TS whenever I need to talk in game, whenever I need to use the push to talk option. And what else? And then I have my armories, you know, B, N, and then these two over here the, the, the comma and the period these are my armories one two three four you can set these up however you like but it's just easy access and you can switch you know on a dime this is normally where I keep my DPS this is normally where I keep my tank this is normally where I keep my DPS for PvP and uh, you know I, I have eight armories so no I either keep another PvP armory here or some kind of a special build for a certain, you know, raid or 
or whatnot. So this is um you can configure it this way, tweak it around just a little bit. But uh, as you can tell, your your main fingers and your hand placement is gonna be here, and you can literally access everything without having to uh, to lift up your hand, go over here, press one of these buttons, and then come back and hope that you know you land in the right place and you don't pop a power that you weren't supposed to pop. You know what I mean? Or a pull instead of a shield or whatnot. So let's move on to the mouse and make sure I covered everything here. Yeah. So if we go to the mouse. These just uh, complement each other. As you can see, I have uh, different colors up here so that you can tell the different kind of setups. So well, let's go over the black one first, which is the initial setup for moving, farming, and whatnot with one hand. When I mean farming, I mean farming exobits. So every now and then I just, you know, I'll farm exobits with just one hand and do something else with the other or just, um, you know, I just, just want to lay down or something. I don't really want to feel like flying around, so I'll have this setup going. So that I can fly around and you know search out exo bits and whatnot. So you're gonna put W um, over here in this side button so that you can move forward, and then you'll use this one for jump, so that you can fly or you know just jump over anything. And then if you press down on on the scroll wheel, that's where I have my fast movement mode. So I just press down on that, and all of a sudden I'm going, you know, super speed. Of course, if you roll in, roll out, you get your zoom in action. And if you press, as I said before, if you press at the same time, activates the action button. So if you press this, uh, left, left mouse click, right mouse click at the same time, it's basically the same as pressing the action button. Just got to get used to it, but it's, it's a lot easier once you do. Now, let's say you're you know you're you're, you're tanking and uh, you're taking massive damage and you got a whole block like forever and you're, you've been in the raid for like an hour which is one of the reasons that I came up with this one this setup um, and your your fingers really just getting tired of blocking with your left hand so what you can do is you can switch it up keep this the same right but you can switch it up where this mouse click right here becomes your your block button and then this becomes your pull right and uh, that way it's just easier to tank you, you you know you can press your powers and move around with the other hand while you can block and or pull with this one and then the final one which is PvP with one hand with no powers which is really just a way of clamping yourself you know so that you can give yourself a little bit of more challenge if you want to and really concentrate on the combat mechanics and the basics um, all this applies over here, but uh, you you make this button over here block, just as you were with the tank, and then you make this one your breakout. So you have block breakout, and then you just use your combat mechanics, which is just attack, melee, range, and you know uh, the triangle. You know um, block meets block beats melee and lunge, lunge beats range, and range beats uh, block. And those are your you know your 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 c -c 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 combo breakers. So. Yeah, apply what you've learned, and if uh, if you already know about this, just uh, keep keep doing it. But it's helped me out a lot, so I just wanted to share you with you all real quick. So uh, maybe it'll help you, and you know, clipping better, or you know, popping four or five powers plus a consumable and a trinket at the same time. It just it all helps out. It, it helps you uh, become a better player. So uh, let me know what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Take it easy, y'all.